Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 22, and this is war number 9. And as you can see, we're going up against an alliance called Planet of the Symbiots. Now, I've scouted out my path, and I take path 3 in uh, Alliance War now, section 1 and 2. Uh, but we had a discussion, and minis were assigned. This is the team that I'm going in here with. And I may switch it up, but Black Widow Clairvoyant for this path seems to be a really good option. Uh, because AQ is down right now, I went ahead and brought in my Corvus. Now, this is my 5-star SIG 200 Corvus. He's usually in AQ. Uh, but in Alliance War, I might start bringing my 6-star, who's not awakened yet, but still puts out that damage. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and boost up. Uh, the only reason that I wouldn't boost is if I forgot to boost. Uh, it's because I have plenty of those boosts, and they are expiring all the time. All right, so, you know, I'm thinking Black Widow Clairvoyant should be a good matchup here against this Black Widow Clairvoyant. Uh, will the real Black Widow please stand up? All right, so... As you can see, you know, we've already gotten some good damage in. And so I'm not too worried about this fight. Now, I have to be careful because uh, after her special one, she has a really fast recovery. So you have to really get that timing tight. Uh, or else she will block you, parry you, uh, and it won't be a good time. All right, so you'll notice that I switched out of blood. Uh, blood curse and I'm in her poison phase that's so that I could do a little bit more poison damage uh, but then I forgot to really fire off heavies and get poison on her uh, but the whole reason that I wanted to do that was because she starts in blood immunity phase and of course I'm not gonna let her um, hit me enough to switch her phase but I can switch, and so switching to Poison or the uh, Incinerate will be just fine. Um, but we've had problems with Black Widow Clairvoyant switching when we didn't want her to. All right, so uh, the mini is down now. Uh, I wasn't assigned that mini. So we got that, um, that mini got cleared. And now I was asked to bring someone possibly for this next fight. But I wasn't technically assigned, but Corvus, Hulkbuster, Tech, and an Avenger. All right, you can see what we have to deal with here. Nothing that looks like it's going to be a problem for Corvus. So uh, at this time, I am just about to go to bed. Uh, I'm already starting to get drowsy. I was telling my alliance mate uh, and officer uh, that I really needed to go to bed because after this fight, I went running over to AQ to make my moves before I went to bed. But AQ is down. Yeah, I was really tired. All right, so anyway, we're not going to finesse this too much. You'll notice that I'm doing a medium light medium which is what I normally do, uh, but there are different ways to play, different combos you can use for Corvus. Uh, for a fight like this, I didn't have to, but you can see he's a stubborn defender. All right, so uh, we may have had a longer fight. So you'll notice that I'm doing a medium light. I switched to a medium light. That's because when I started the fight, I forgot he was a stubborn defender. And so I was fighting it as if he wasn't, and I would be able to get him down. But when I saw the indestructible, I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. I might run out of charges. All right. So when I thought that, that's when I started doing a medium light, medium light, as you see here, to maximize my charges. Um, and then I'm like, okay, we got one charge left. There we go. I could have fired off a special one, but I knew that I wasn't going to have too much difficulty in finishing him off. Now, without his charges, he doesn't do that much damage, but because I'm running suicides, he still does quite a bit of damage even without his charges. 
He's just not going to crit without the charges. All right, so we got him down. You can see I used up my energy and I went to bed. When I came back, full energy. We were still discussing who was going to take this mini. Um, uh, I believe uh, they, they were discussing whether one or the other one was going to take it. I, I can't remember exactly. Um, but I said, all right, you know, I could have taken this mini. However, uh, I didn't want to, you know, try to take on too much. And he wasn't clear in any way. But I was waiting just in case I could just boost once, clear my path, and take the mini. But uh, that didn't happen. So now we are going to be fighting Colossus. Now, this fight, I got a little surprised. So I thought I, you know, read the node pretty well. And I knew that I was going to have to get rid of those uh, armor ups, right? And so, see, look at this. We got the armor ups down. Yes, he's indestructible. He's a stubborn defender. Uh, and I know I can't armor break him. All right? So, but he was getting those armor ups much faster than I was thinking he would. Okay? See, look at that. I was like, okay, wait a minute. This this might be a longer fight. Look at my charges. All right? I'm down to one charge already. And he's not even at half health. Now my charges are gone. And he is not even at 50% health. And I'm like, okay, this is turning out to be a little bit of a longer fight than I was anticipating. All right? So what's happening, if you read the node, is... Anytime they have an armor up and you crit them, they will use one of their armor ups to negate the damage. So you do zero damage and it'll remove one of the armor ups. So if you have someone like Colossus here who's constantly getting armor ups, then he's constantly negating your damage. So you have to keep getting those armor ups off of him and then um, do your damage like you see me doing here. So I fired off that special three. I don't want to push him to his special three, but I fired off the special three, did some good damage. I did it when he didn't have any armor ups up. So we got him down, but it was a little bit more challenging than I was thinking it would be when I first went in there. You know, I went in there, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just going to wreck him. You know, Corvus going to get him. And then I was like, wait a minute. He keeps on getting those armor ups. Uh-oh, this might be uh, a little bit more challenging. But we got him down without dying. So now we're going to fight this Agent Venom. I do not like fighting Agent Venom. That tenacity messes me up all the time. I hate it. All right. Um... But if you're quick enough, you can hit him before his tenacity. All right. But I decided to go in here with Black Widow, Clairvoyant. And see that tenacity? Nasty. All right. But uh, we're doing okay so far. Uh, got to incinerate on him. And uh, he did not... Uh, the tenacity did not uh, uh, get rid of it. And we're doing some good damage. We pushed him to a special two, which is what I want to do when I'm fighting Agent Venom. All right, there we go. We dexed to that just fine. Uh, sometimes you can mess up. Now, he's getting his armor ups, but she's nullifying them. She's a really good option for uh, this path. And I'm really thinking uh, about taking my six star up if I get the opportunity. Uh, because it looks like she's going to be uh, very useful, especially... Uh, in Alliance War. Alright, so you can see here we're just finishing it up and down he goes. Alright, Black Widow Clairvoyant. She is definitely a beast and I like her. She's uh, pretty cool, very useful, uh, worthy of a rank 5. Uh, I don't know if anyone in my Alliance has her at rank 3 as a 6 star. I don't know yet. All right, but in any case, we got to the mini. I was not assigned the mini, and someone else was to take the mini. We got to uh, uh, Mini Boss Island, and now 
I talked about this on my stream a little bit. Uh, I got really frustrated because it was like this last minute rush. It was just before my stream. Uh, but I was sitting here waiting so that I could make my, you know, moves, my fights here, right? Now, this fight, this fight, what can I say about this fight? So I'll tell you what the strategy is for fighting Man-Thing on this node with Black Widow Clairvoyant. It's a very simple strategy. You do your five hit combo, end in a light. You switch over to poison, her poison uh, mode, and you stay there. And you just fight him. Bait out his specials, try to push him to a special two, because I don't like trying to evade that special one of his. But, you know, if you can push him to a special two, great. If not, take the blocked hits, and it should be a very, very easy solo. However, we had a little bit of a problem. And uh, when uh, the fight starts, I will talk a little bit about what that problem was and uh, what happened. And you'll, you'll see it. You'll see it. Um, all right. So I'm boosting up. As you can see, I'm taking the fight seriously. Um, boosting up so that uh, I can have the best chance for success for this fight. And like I said, I had my strategy, very simple strategy, go to poison and then finish the fight pretty easily. All right. He's a stubborn defender, but that's not going to bother me at all. All right. So boom, we're in curse of plague, which is the poison mode, right? Now, all we need to do is stay in poison mode. Do you see where we are right now? I didn't. Okay. I didn't see this. So I'm fighting him. I got to the special two and I fired it off and I noticed that I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff on me and I'm like, what happened? And I look up and I'm in incinerate mode. I did not do that. And this has happened to me several times. Just look at look at my da Look at the damage. And now I'm trying to hurry up to get back to poison mode. But that rattled me because now I'm like, I can't rely on staying in the mode. I just need to stay in poison mode. That's it. Do not want to end with a light. And so I'm actually trying to be very careful and not end in a light attack. Now, I've had this happen. I was watching uh, Dorky Diggity Dave, and it happened to him as well, where she just switched to the next mode. Now, I don't know whether our swipe is being read, but look, I'm back in incinerate mode. And again, firing off my special two, in incinerate mode this is not what i wanted and so i'm like i don't believe this so now i'm back in blood that messed me up now i'm off you know kilter here okay and so i'm trying to get back a little bit of health and here i made a very crucial mistake i'm too busy all right i'm in poison mode right now right and i'm just like okay what am i to do all right poison mode and i got hit the reason that i got hit there is because he was unblockable because he had a regen uh, on at the time. And on this node, when you have a regen, you are unblockable. And I went for a parry because he went indestructible and I was trying to get the indestructible off of him. But the reason that I didn't see that is because I'm fighting to stay in poison mode. It just kept switching me. And so I'm just like, what am I supposed to do? You know, that that really rattled me. I didn't know what to do at this point, you know. And so I was watching to see what mode was I in, didn't notice that he was in regen, went for the parry and died. OK, so that's what happened on that one. Someone else came in and finished him off. And now I was sitting waiting because I'm about to go live and I'm waiting for them to get down this thing so that I can take the domino in the upper right hand corner. 
and I waited and waited. Uh, my stream time came, and I was still waiting. Eventually, they took down that thing. So as you can see here, I'm boosting up so that I can take this domino. Now, I've soloed domino on this node. I've also lost to domino on this node. All right, now, my warlock, of course, is my best option, I feel. Corvus could do it as well. But here we go. So I know there's Limber and Spry and all of that, but I still wanted to uh, get a little bit and she caught me there good. All right, and it look, I'm just like, no, 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 no. Look at this, I'm, I'm stunned. Good thing that I boosted with that invulnerability boost so the fight would be over already, okay? So I'm just like, oh my goodness. All right, we just need to fight her the way that we know to fight her here, okay? So now I'm racing against the clock. You know, got that D-Gen, so I'm doing my, you know, um, intercept mode, you know, on her. You see how I'm evading and, and letting her attack, you know, with her medium and countering it. That's how you're supposed to fight her. Now, what I tried to do in the beginning, which didn't work too well, as you saw, uh, was I knew that there was limber, and so I wanted to use up the limbers early on, okay? I wanted to parry heavy parry heavy until I couldn't anymore but as you saw that didn't work all right now I fired this special three off hoping that it would finish her off because I saw that I was losing health and it gave me a little bit of health back okay so I'm like all right good 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 this is just enough and we were able to finish her off that was close guys that was clutch brought it back after messing up early in the beginning okay but we got her down full bonus all right uh, but we'll be back in a moment, and you will find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, unfortunately, we lost this war. Uh, it was a very close war, and a lot of us felt like we should have been able to pull this one off. However, uh, there were some performance issues, some internal difficulties that are being addressed. Uh, but this is our second loss in a row. So hopefully we'll be able to turn this around next war. But that's gonna do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you thought about the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button. And you all have a blessed day.